Hi, I'm Jessica with Grow Mushrooms Canada. Today I'm going to show you how to grow mushrooms outdoors on logs. There are many delicious edible mushrooms you can grow on logs, including the oyster mushroom, lion's mane, and shiitake, and some medicinal varieties as well, like turkey tail and the reishi. I'm going to be growing on a log from a red alder tree because that's what's available locally on Vancouver Island, BC. But across Canada, there are many other varieties of trees that are suitable for mushroom growing as well, like a beech tree, birch, maple, oak. So just uh, make sure you check which mushroom species goes well with your tree variety. Today, I'm going to be growing, planting, the yellow oyster plug spawn into my log. So I've got a bag here of wooden dowels that have white mushroom mycelium growing on them. And that's what's gonna grow out and through the log and eventually fruit some delicious mushrooms. So I've got some tools here for doing that. My eight millimeter drill bit. You could also use a 5 16 And if you wanna make it easy, you can use a depth stop. And you just slide that on and adjust the depth to the depth of your plug spawn, just a little bit deeper, and then tighten it with the Allen key. But I like to use the special drill bit we have here, which is an auger. It drills nice and easy, and it has a built-in depth stop. It's a slightly larger size, 8.5 millimeters, but it works just the same for the plug spawn. So I'm going to put that into my drill. And I'm going to start by drilling a row of holes about six inches apart down the log. Now the next row, I'm going to turn the log and about two inches over, start a row uh, in between the two that I had dr drilled first. And then the next row I'll go back in line with the first row. So that makes it a bit of a diamond pattern. You can see where the holes are here. And all I need to do is take a hammer and some plug spun. Clean hands are preferable, and you can even, if you wanted to, wipe your tool down with some rubbing alcohol just to prevent mold and other contamination. And then just tap the plug in. Oh, I've got too much in my hand. Nice and easy, doesn't require many tools. The very best time to harvest logs across Canada is in the winter time before the leaf buds break out and the sugar content is nice and high in the log and as well it uh, helps the bark uh, stay on the log longer after it's been cut. Of course there's lots of opportunities for accessing wood, uh, trees that are coming down for other reasons. You want to use a healthy tree not uh, something that's been down for years or, or is, is uh, looking to cease because other fungal my mycelium will already be growing in it. So you've got uh, uh, maybe a winter storm has uh, taken down a healthy tree or you've got a, a local arborist who has to take down danger trees in the city or maybe somebody's clearing a property because they're building on it. So there's lots of opportunity to access healthy, healthy trees that are coming down for other reasons and put them to good use growing good food. So now that I've got the mushroom plug spawn in my log, I would do that around the whole log, and it takes about 50 plugs to do a log, maybe four to six inches in diameter and three to four feet long. Then I'm going to uh, cover these sites of inoculation with melted wax. And we use soy wax, um, but you could also use beeswax or cheese wax. And a nice easy way to melt it is on a camp stove in a tin can. 
And so we've just put that in there and heated it up. You can get it nice and hot. And then we you can use a paintbrush, but we've got these little wax daubers. So I just give a little wipe of wax on top of each point where I've inoculated the log. The wax doesn't have to stay on for a long time, but what it does, it seals in the moisture and it keeps any contaminants from entering in those wounds that you've created, um, entrance points. Just in time to give your preferred mushroom species the mycelium time to grow through the log. So once you've got your whole log done, you're going to want to store it outdoors somewhere in the shade. You don't want sunshine. Direct hot sun is not good for your mushroom log. So a shady place uh, and just let it sit. Uh, if you want to baby it, you could soak it in the dry season in a kiddie pool or a rain barrel or maybe a local creek. Um, that'll just keep it really nice and hydrated, but it's not necessary. And in about six months to two years, your mushroom log will start fruiting mushrooms. It depends on the how long it takes, depends on the species of mushroom you're growing and also the diameter of a log. If it's a large diameter log or a slower growing species, then it might take the, more like two years. Even we've, we've grown on logs that were huge and it's taken four years. And then we got some massive shiitake the size of a dinner plate. So that was pretty fun. Uh, the smaller logs will tend to produce faster and if you're growing something like oyster mushrooms then you can expect fruiting in as soon as six months from when you inoculate and the best time in canada to inoculate is in april may when this is starting to warm up for spring but if you have opportunity to to because the trees come down another time of year then you can plant that time of year as well um, I don't know if there's anything I'm missing, but if you have any questions, you can pop us an email and you can visit our website for more information. It's growmushroomscanada.ca and have fun out there growing yourself some great mushroom food.